day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Do you want to uh, do the communion real quick? Uh, sure. Let me go grab something real quick. Okay, let me get mine too. Hey, man, sorry for the break. For those who are listening, we're going to do our communion because this is this is Resurrection Sunday. For some of you, it's called Easter, but uh, we just recognize Easter itself as, as, as a pagan god. But reality, the whole message, standalone message is that our Savior was crucified on the cross. And they called him Joshua. And I know in 1500, just, just some of you don't know that, in 1500, that's when they changed the, uh, the translation to mean Jesus. And I know many of you have heard the story that says that there was no J uh, in Hebrew uh, during that time period. So the the and what we're just saying is is that what's written is Joshua, um, not to put saying Jesus, because that's the translation that we came up in the 1500s. But we just want to make sure that you know, and I think we also it's all about teaching, right, and giving understanding. Uh, it means Savior. Joshua means Savior. And God yeah. is our Savior. So just know that. And that's why I even put on that slide, and Brother Adams is back, but I put on that slide Deuteronomy 8, verse 8. So they would have it, brother. You see that you see that other slide there in the background? No. You can't see my background? You see my background. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You see that, that scripture, Nehemiah 8, verse 8? 8, 8 and 8, yeah. Yeah. So they read in the book of the law of God. So that I read again. So they read in the book in the law of God distinctly and gave what? Sense <laughs> and caused them to understand the reading. And that's what we're here for to make sure people understand the reading of the book and in your case in our case right here somebody changed something we need to make sure they, they have an understanding of what they changed and why they changed it yeah right then, then you can keep on going as long as you have that understanding of why you're saying it yeah man all right so you want to do the communion and sure, you know, I can do it. Pray it. You gonna pray it, sir? Yeah. Hey, man. Tell uh, us. You yeah, look, look. This is resurrection Sunday. You go, you go pre. You go, you go pray. The, no, you pray the, no. I'm gonna do communion. <laughs> 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 go ahead. Okay. Well, on a night, Jesus was with his disciples. He took bread and he said, this is my body that was broken for you. Not only was it broken for them, it was broken for us. Yes. And so he took the bread yeah. and he broke it and he gave it to his disciples. Yes. And so they took it and they ate it. And then likewise, he took the wine and he said, this is my blood. Yes. Which is representative 
a representation of the new covenant. Yes. My blood was shed. Wow. For you. Mm. And so he said, you do these things in remembrance of me. Wow. That his body was broken for us. Yes. And that his blood was shed for us. Wow. And so that it was in such a, a important and important event mm. that it should be carried out throughout the ages. In remembrance of him. Yes. In remembrance of Christ. Yes. And so they took the cup and they drank. Yeah. Wow. I was sitting there looking at the cup too. I had it as a red wine, right? Yeah. I was just while you're talking, I was just looking at it like, wow. Yeah. This symbolic of what really happened in, in the flesh. Yeah. That blood you know, I've, 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 I've been thinking here in the last few weeks about this. His physical body that was broken, his flesh was just torn asunder, completely ripped apart to where he was so disfig disfigured that he wasn't even recognized. Mm. And he did this willingly. And then Paul comes along and was given the revelation yes. that there is sin within our members. Yes. And then I correlated those two. Yeah. That that flesh that Jesus spirit was in was allowed to be shredded mm. to pieces because there was sin. Yes. It represented the sin that was yes. torn up. Represents our sin. Let's make sure our sin. Our sin. Yeah. Our sin. Sin. Period. It represented sin. Yes. In our members. Yeah. And then the, the 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 blood that was shed that came out of that Ooh. that washed and covered that sin. The side, yeah. Ooh. It had to come. It had it to come on. Covered the from the head to the toe. Wow. That blood covered that sin. Wow. Deep. Deep. I mean, even the even the Made sure it covered even the hands. Yeah. The blood was on the hands. The blood was on the head. The blood was on the body. The blood was on the... I mean, they, they put nails in, in, on, the, yeah. on the feet. Nailed them together. Nailed the hand. In other words, the whole body. Yeah. From head to toe. Head to toe. D. And, that, and, and, and the thing about it was that that's what was required. Yeah, it was required that 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 physical body and that life source had to be released mm. from that sinful body. Yes. Yeah. That body of sin mm. to to actually fulfill yes what God said to Adam, to Adam, the yeah. day you eat of, you, you shall surely die. Yeah. That we, body yeah. had to die. Yeah. That, has, had that to last die. Adam yeah. had to die. Mm. 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 That yeah. last Adam fulfilled what God said in the garden. Yeah. It died. And and I always I always get that when you was talking the inference, the, the inference about the fact is that when he took on our sin, 
God outside of the body turned away from him. Yes. His 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 Adam was he said, My God. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? It, Adam, yeah. Adam did it was a big difference between the other Adam. Yeah. When he, well, I guess maybe they did, they hid, he hid himself, right? They yeah. knew they were naked. Yeah. G Joshua on that cross, there were, when that transfer occurred, he recognized a separation yeah. between him and God. And you said it, didn't he? Yeah. My God. I mean, yeah. I don't know if you're good at it, but that, that had to be like, my God, my God. I'm so used to you being with me. I'm so used to you being in me. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. You, you imagine, ooh. imagine ooh. if you can reach back mm. to a time in your life mm. as a child and your first separation from your parent mm -hmm. and you recognize that, that <laughs> you, anguish. Yeah. The fear ooh, ooh. from that separation. Yeah. Tell you me, know, a child, a child cries out toward his mom from separation. Then we look at then we look around, look at the store, start crying. Yeah. 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 A baby cries out for the for the mother. Mm. Mm. From separation. Yeah. It, it, it's it's amazing. It's amazing. He used all the things as, as, as to keep pushing that fact is that relationship. Don't, yeah. don't kill the relationship. You know, it, it kind of reminds you of prodigal son. Same thing, right? Yeah. He was away, but his father was always looking for him and he ran. Look, and look, who ran to, just like in the store, if you lose your child in the store and you find your child, you <laughs> run towards your child. Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, and then I guess the last piece of that to close out was the fact is that you remember when you first deployed from your family? Mm -hmm. Was that different? Did you feel it? When I you... first deployed, I when I went to I went to uh, war. I guess uh, the crazy thing is I wasn't afraid and fearful because of where I was. No. My concern was my family. Exactly, yeah. Who, who wasn't in, in harm's way, but was, you know, here in the state. Yeah. That's, that's was my concern. Exactly. I was Part trained was to be where I was at. So uh -huh. that second that second nature just, just pulled up, you know, came to the forefront and I just, just did. I was just being yeah. in that yeah. environment. Yeah. But my concern was back home, my yeah. family. Yeah. It was a you could feel there was something missing. Yeah. There was something missing in your life. Uh, it, it was definitely a distance. I mean, I also used to the fact of uh, first leaving the country, you start realizing you can't get to them as easy as you could while you was in the country. You know, you can always get in a car drive overnight to try to get back to a loved one. But when you got when you got on that plane or that boat and you moved to another place, that was it. That was a that, that was a difference. And I think Jesus was demonstrating that. Because he said, I always do what my father tell me to do. You know? So I think we're gonna make sure we keep those messages and give sense and understanding the word as we go forward. Amen. Yeah. So I see you. Uh, you're going to pray out for us. I'm going to see. You. I'll be at 8 o'clock. You, you, like I said, we, we ain't got to get dressed up. We, you know, we got to put our T-shirts on. And, yeah. And, 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 and just. It has nothing to do with your appearance, your outward ex appearance. It exactly. Really it's nothing. all about that message. It's all about getting that spiritual washing. Yeah. That spiritual baby. Uh, I just got my mom and I called her. I said, this, this is called that. That that cold water in the morning, that spiritual. Could we talking like you know, you, you know, you can imagine talking to your parents if they were still here and talking about the word. It's like a spiritual uh, little, little bathing water on you. 
is how I looked at it. So it's a blessing to go ahead over to the word. And maybe that gives some people opportunity to jump in when they can, uh, being early, so they can get to where they need to go. Amen? Amen. All right. Prayers out, sir, and I, be, I appreciate you. Okay. Well, Father, we, we thank you for the time that we, we've had together during this, this uh, session. We thank you for all that was, was revealed to us. Yes. Uh, we thank you for, uh, for just your presence being in the midst of us, for, for clarity and, and mm. understanding and, 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 and revelation and, and, and the wisdom that, that comes with it. We yes. pray that we find ourselves in position mm. to fulfill your will. Yes. We we thirst after you. We thirst after Lord God what you, what you would have us to know and what to do, how to be, how to act. It is our desire to be living sacrifices so that your will will be done here on earth in and through us and our families lord god uh, continue to be in the midst of us yes. those who are participating in this uh bible study yes continue to to stir up the gift that you have within us yes help us to understand the true meanings of your word, whether mm. we should mm. actually be praying in the original yes. name of your Yeshua. Mm. Mm -hmm. And if it is okay to say Jesus, yes, it, it is our desire to have clarity in that. Yes. Because we truly want to be in your will yes we truly want to manifest your desires in our hearts and we do not yes. want to be wrong so yes. make available to us what your desire is concerning mm. your words yes. your wills your way mm. our king yes and we say these things in your son's name, Yahushua, Jesus, amen. Amen, amen. Man.